I think some people think we're stupid. <laughs> we're not stupid people. We think about these things a lot. When you have this responsibility, how do you not think about it? Mm. And so, but what people forget is this is a military mission and a military function. And since the day I joined the service, 36 years ago, every year I get trained in the law of armed conflict. And the law of armed conflict has certain principles. Uh, necessity, distinction, proportionality, unnecessary suffering, all those things are defined. And we get, you know, for 20 years it was the William Calley Meli thing that we were trained on because if you execute an unlawful order, you will go to jail. You could go to jail for the rest of your life. It applies to nuclear weapons, it applies to small arms, it applies to, to small unit tactics, it applies to everything. And we apply it as we go through it. It's, it's not that difficult. And the way the process works, if, if you want to get into details later, I'll go into the details later. The way the process works is it's simple. I provide advice to the president, he'll tell me what to do, and if it's and if it's illegal, guess what's going to happen? You say no. I'm going to say, Mr. President, that's illegal. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to say, what would be legal? And we'll come up with options of a mix of capabilities to respond to whatever the situation is. And that's the way it works.